Happy Forum Friday, guys. This is Dr. Bill with Movement First Health and Wellness. We're going to be going over an exercise that is kind of common with high intensity boot camps. It is a bicycle crunch. It's an excellent, it's an excellent exercise when done correctly to engage your obliques and work that rotational strength. Uh, what it looks like is this. You're going to be on your back, legs up, bent at kind of a 90 degree angle here hands behind your head. We're gonna be doing kind of a motion where we either extend our leg to a diagonal like this or as far down as we can. We're also going to be uh, reaching across with our elbow and our knee. And so this is where kinda of I get a little bit picky. So when I ask people to rotate through, uh, when I have them rotate their upper body, I'm asking them to rotate through their ribs. So trying to reach with their lower rib and their armpit and the outcome is that the elbow comes to the knee. If the elbow doesn't touch the knee, I'm okay with it as long as they're using the right muscles. We don't want to lead with the elbow because then we get a whole bunch of wonky movements. Um, and then on the bottom half with our pelvis, we want to make sure that we are almost like we're trying to roll over to the other side, picking our pelvis up and picking up our knee, kind of drawing your rib and your opposite pelvis together as you do this exercise. Uh, what's common is that when people uh, do this, they end up kind of side bending like that. So when you are lifting this knee, we also want to make sure you're getting nice and long through this um, down side or arm, the arm that's down side so that you're not kind of bringing your, that down. And then you're really working that rotational control. So again, what it's gonna look like is you're bringing your ribs to, I'm not gonna even try to breathe. With that, you wanna make sure that you can breathe the entire time. If you're not breathing, it's not helping you functionally and we're just strengthening our abs without any sort of functionality. So if you wanna be able to use your obliques with all the stuff that you do at home, all the activities that you enjoy doing to prevent any sort of injuries in, in your back or your neck, make sure that you are breathing throughout this entire exercise. That was your form Friday for the bicycle uh, crunch. Good luck, hopefully it was helpful.